Hello, welcome back to the Friday Parts Buyer's Guide. Ever notice your engine feeling sluggish, see black smoke puffing out, your gas mileage suddenly goes south? This could be a turbo issue. With so many turbo options out there, how do you pick the right one? Well, don't worry, we've got you covered today. The safest way to ensure that you get the correct turbo is to check the OEM part number. So this is the most reliable method to guarantee a perfect fit and avoid installation headaches. However, don't just buy a turbocharger based on the turbo model alone. Different turbochargers, even within the same model designation, they can have variations. Turbo specs differ depending on the machine brand and the model, so it's crucial to know exactly what machine you're working with. Sometimes even within the same machine model, engine setups can vary. This is why your engine serial number becomes essential for ensuring an exact match, especially for brands like Deutz, Cummins, Perkins. Unsure where to find the engine serial number? It's not a problem. Taking a picture of your machine's nameplate is another way to confirm the right turbo. So this method works really well for equipment from brands like John Deere, Cat, Komatsu, Case, Bobcat. If your turbo's been modified, you'll likely need to measure the key dimensions to make sure it fits. So make sure the turbo's inlet and the outlet match your system. Measure the inner and the outer diameters to avoid any compatibility issues. You'll also need to measure the turbo's oil inlet and the outlet sizes. Then lastly, measure the distance between the mounting holes of your turbine exhaust gas inlet and then the outlet to ensure a perfect fit with your exhaust manifold and muffler. Okay, now you've chosen the perfect turbo for your equipment. There are a few steps you need to take after receiving your turbo to ensure it runs properly. So number one, change to synthetic engine oil. Number two, clean the air ducts, the air intake pipes. Number three, replace the air filter. And number four, don't forget to lubricate the turbo by dripping oil into the oil inlet before installation. So remember these tips to help you avoid getting burned when buying and installing a turbo. So that concludes our turbo selection guide for today. For more turbo maintenance, installation tips, be sure to check out our previous how-to videos. And then remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Friday parts, fix it once, fix it right.